Morocco becomes the first African country to give tanks to Ukraine. The Moroccan army sent uh, an unknown number of Russian-made tanks modernized in the Czech Republic. Uh, to talk about this with us is uh, Dr. Mohamed Shtatov from Rabat. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening. Uh, what drove Morocco to uh, take this decision? Well, first of all, we have to remember that Morocco is a reliable uh, friend of the United States, a reliable ally of the United States, of Europe, and of the Western world. And um, Morocco wants this war to end. And by giving these tanks to uh, Ukraine, it's not offensive, it's just defensive, because they want to help the Ukrainian people defend themselves from the Russian uh, onslaught on their land. That's all it is. But Morocco is a very uh, friend country of the West, and it wants to help in this area. Uh, th that's very interesting because the Europeans and the United States are very hesitant to, to uh, send tanks to Ukraine. Was it an easy decision by Morocco? It was not difficult because I think uh, Morocco knows that this gesture is not offensive gesture to, to Russia and we have very good relations with Russia and that it's trying to help the Ukrainian people defend themselves. That's all that is. For the Europeans it's different because the Europeans uh, want the gas from, uh, from Russia and they want uh, other things from Russia. So that's why Morocco doesn't uh, need this gas, doesn't need anything from Russia and still we have very good relations with this country. No fear of uh, retaliation from the Russians? I, I don't think so, because I can tell you why. Because Russia needs Morocco as a gate to uh, Africa mm -hmm. to do business with the African people. And the Moroccan uh, is well situated, geographically speaking, to help uh, the Russians uh, get into Africa very easily.